Okay, in this video we're going to quickly review something for the AP exam, and that is using the fundamental theorem to find values of a function. So what do we mean by that? So first of all, fundamental theorem, I'll assume you definitely know it by this point, but it's the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx is equal to f of b minus f of a. And when we use this, um, we really want b to be greater than a, and um, so that means we can rearrange this fundamental theorem. Um, so for example, we can solve for f of b. And so f of b is just going to be f of a, it's kind of like where you're starting, plus your displacement. So plus the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx. So that's if we're moving forward, right? So we want to find a value that is uh, greater than the given value, or at a time that's greater than the given time. Um, and then we could also go the other way though. We could solve for f of a. So that's going to end up, you're just rearranging the fundamental theorem. So it's going to be f of b minus the integral from a to b of f prime of x dx. And in this case, we're really moving back, right? We, we know the value at, say, x equals 10, and we want to know the value at x equals 2. So we have to go backwards. So we're, where we know we are, and then we subtract the displacement in that case. Um, so we get this moving backwards. And there's two places that it shows up. I mean, it could show up anywhere. And the fundamental theorem shows up in tons of places. Um, but the examples we're going to look at um, are things where it's likely to show up. Um, so the first place is calculator multiple choice questions. Shows up there all the time. And you really need a calculator because you won't be able to find uh, an antiderivative by hand. Um, and then the other place is on FRQs, the free response questions on those problems where you're given the graph of f prime, which are really like the best type of FRQ to come up because they're very straightforward and you know how to do all of it. So let's take a look at some examples. So the first one is we're gonna let g of x be an antiderivative of this thing. And if g of e is equal to three, then what is g of two? Okay, so a couple of things to look at here. So g of x is an antiderivative of this thing. So that means that the thing we're looking at is g prime of x. And then the other thing that we want to think about is we know g of e and we want g of 2. Well, that's relevant because e is actually bigger than 2. So that means we need to kind of go backwards in this case. So um, here's what I ended up doing on the calculator. I just typed it in. I did 3 minus the integral from 2 to e and of that thing. And I got 6.584. So that's the answer choice I would choose or I would write it to three decimal places. Uh, one thing I did here that maybe you haven't done in a while or maybe you've never done, I use e as an upper bound. So there's two different ways you could get that. So on the calculator page here, um, the first one, or the only one you see there, says e to the first. The reason it says that is I just use the e key here um, and I just made it e to the first. So like you don't need to do e to the x, you could just do e to the first. So that's one option. What I did in the integral actually was I pressed this pi key down here and then I pressed it a bunch of times and got over to e. So if you need to use e as just a number rather than as a function, those are your two options. Um, all right, let's take a look at another example. This one's pretty straightforward. Um, so we have during a snowstorm, the depth of snow at a weather station increases at a rate modeled by r of t, which is that thing. Um, and we're specifying that t is between 0 and 5.993, where t is the time in hours since the start of the storm, and r of t is measured in inches per hour. Um, so we want to find, if there were two inches of snow on the ground at the start of the storm, how deep is the snow um, at the station after three hours? So to do this, uh, this is like a, a basic one, like you know where you started and you want to find what it is after three hours. So we're gonna integrate the rate from zero to three and add two. So I did this on my calculator and I got that. Notice I'm in radians. Oh man, make sure you're in radians on this exam. Um, so let's do one more example. So this will be a non-calculator FRQ type. So we have the graph of F prime, the first derivative of the function F consists of a semicircle, ooh, that should say of typo, of radius three and two line segments as shown in the figure. If f of five is 10, uh, and we wanna know what, uh, okay, so if f of five is 10, what is f of negative two? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just writing down the fundamental theorem that involves negative two and five. So 
the integral from negative two to five of f prime of x dx is equal to f of five minus f of negative two. So that's where I usually start with these because I don't wanna confuse myself. And then I'm being asked to find f of negative two, so I'm just gonna rearrange this thing. So f of negative two should be f of five and then minus the integral from negative two to five of f prime of x dx. Okay, so I know f of five. I have the graph of f prime and it's looking very geometric, so I can just use some areas to find that. So uh, let's do it. So first, uh, I gotta start at negative two. So I'm gonna deal with this. Uh, this is a quarter circle here. So circle is radius three, so the full circle would be nine pi in area, but that's only a quarter of it, so that's gonna be nine pi over four. Um, and then we have to keep going until we get to five. So uh, this region here, I'm gonna view as one big triangle that has a base of four and a height of negative two. So it has overall an area of negative four. And so now let's fill in the values that we know. So f of negative two is, f of five is given, it's 10, and then it's minus the quantity so we're gonna get uh, nine pi over four and then plus negative four, but I'm just gonna write minus four. And simplifying that, we get f of negative two is 14 minus nine pi over four. All right, so that's three examples of how you're gonna be asked to use the fundamental theorem on the AP exams. Um, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.